Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Germany. John sent me this beer. This is Gaffel Kolsch. And basically uh, what that is, Kolsch, Kolsch beers are, are, are brewed with lager yeast and uh, they're cold fermented like a lagers are. So. I don't drink a lot of Kolsch's or, or a lot of lagers anymore. I'm an ale and a stout guy now, but uh, basically these type of beers are usually a lower ABV beer. This one is 4.8% and they're very sessionable. They're very lager or Pilsner-esque. Uh, they have a little grainy grassiness to them and uh, a little citrusy and floral hop going on there. Uh, a little bit more taste probably than you're going to get from a Bud Miller or a Coors, but uh, technically what they're saying, let me give you the commercial description on this beer. The laws protecting the brewing of Kolsch are as strict as the German purity law of 1516. Kolsch beer can only be brewed within the city of Cologne and its best known Kolsch brewery, Gaffels or Gaffels flavor is derived from an ale yeast that is lagered or aged in cold cellars. Gaffel, I'm probably butchering that up, I'm not German. He is pale, faintly fruity, and crisp. Hop and fruity with a crisp hop finish. Enjoy as aspartame or a digestive. Uh, I don't drink a lot of those, like I said. Uh, I mean, in the summertime, uh, they would make great lawnmower beers. And being low ABV, you can have several of them and not worry about getting inebriated. Uh, uh, they're very light, crisp, and refreshing. So uh, probably uh, during this at the wrong time of the year, but you can enjoy these uh, as a starter beer of the day, or if you've been out working in the yard or whatever, cutting the grass or whatever, uh, you, you can drink one of these and, and not get filled up like a lot of the heavier beers will do to you. So with that being said, let's go over to the food pairings. Food pairings for this beer, of course, cuisine is going to be German. The uh, meat for this is pork, fish, and shellfish. Glassware is the stange, which is this tall cylinder looking glass here. And the beer is not recommended for extended souring since it is a low 4.8%. So if you get this, you ought to drink it pretty quickly and not try to sell all these beers. This one does not have a date on it that I can see. We will look at the bottle again, and it looks almost like water inside. So I'm expecting it to be a very light golden color. I have not had this beer before or anything from these guys as far as I know. So let's get the cap off of this one. I'm not going to pour it too aggressive because sometimes these things will produce a monster head. John, thanks again for sending this beer. I do appreciate it. I've had this one. Looking forward to doing it. Uh, very much like a uh, macro like, lager color. Very light golden with a lot of bubbles streaming up. It looks like it's very well carbonated. And with that pour, we got a good finger of head. So let's get a nose on it. Yep, smells very typical of what a lager or a pilsner is going to smell like. I'm getting grassiness, graininess, uh, maybe a, a little bit of uh, uh, lemongrass or, or, or lemon peel. Uh, the hops are floral. Citrusy, I'm sure they're using uh, uh, saws or tetanang or, or something, some European hops. 
smells pretty typical of, of, of what that style of beer is going to be like and, and what most of your lagers are going to smell like. Grassiness, graininess, and a little bit of lemongrass or, or, or lemon peel. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Very lightweight. Very easy drinking. Very sessionable. Very refreshing, too. This type of beer is not going to fill you up. Like I said, you could come in and, and from working out in the yard or whatever. You could even be shoveling snow and work up a sweat and come in and have something like this. But it is a lighter beer. Not heavy. Easy to drink. Very sessionable. There are no adjuncts in this beer or any fillers. Water, barley, malt, hops, and yeast. That's the only thing in here. No rice, no corn, no adjuncts. So, very nice. You're not getting a lot of crap that you don't need in your beer. So, those guys have been doing it for a long, long time over there. And it's leaving a nice lacing in the, on the glass here as I'm drinking it. I like these beers served very chilled. And I don't sit around and sip on them for long periods of time like I do the ales and the stouts. I'm going to drink this one up pretty quick. So I'm going to let the other half taste it. And I'll be right back when I do the final chug on this one. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left here. Give it to the other half. And she has the same opinion I do. We don't drink a lot of lagers or kolsches or pilsner much anymore. Uh, and in the beer review business, such as I am, uh, you can't always drink what you want to drink or what you prefer to drink. you got to you got to spread yourself around and drink other styles and, uh, and and whether you like them or they're your style you still got to grade them accordingly for what they are and that's what I'm going to do with this one uh, like I told you before very crisp very refreshing very light 4.8 percent grassy grainy little lemongrass or, or lemon peel in there nice maltiness in there very sessionable. You can drink quite a few of these. I mean, you could probably drink the whole six pack and not be inebriated. I know I wouldn't be. Anyway, let's do the final chug on this one. Not my cup of tea, but very nice, very crisp. No fillers, no adjuncts, no rice, no corn. You ain't got all that other crap that all the, the, the macro lagers stick in theirs. And they put that in there to, just to say they don't have to put a lot of barley in there. It's just for them to make more money. And I'm not a big fan of that. That's why I don't support those guys and I don't review those beers. So we're into the craft beer and the, the, the better made beers and, and such as this too. Uh, this beer comes from Germany and it is a very well made beer. Very nice for the style. Uh, probably not the top beer in that style but very well made. So with that being said guys, uh, I told you I was going to look for a date on the bottle and I don't think there is one. Uh, I don't see anything written on the bottle and usually the bottles over there have it on the back label and this one does not. So uh, probably pretty sure this one was made for export to the United States. Uh, it is nothing on there. So with a 4.8 I kind of think it needs to be on there, guys. So, I'm going to give this a 6, which is a B beer. Uh, if it had a date on it, it would probably got the B+. Plus. Definitely not an A beer in my category, but that's just my opinion. It's not my particular favorite, not my style of beer. So, with that being said, let's see what the other guys got to say about this. We'll go over to Beer Advocate and, I mean, Rate Beer. And Rate Beer says 39 overall. And 54 in the style. And Beer Advocate says 83, which is in a good range. I agree, it is a good beer. Not outstanding, not exceptional, but it is a well-made beer and fairly tasty for the style. 
uh, not enough taste for my palate because I'm a hop head and I like those big punji hops and and I like the uh, the darker beers that have a lot of chocolate and coffee and all that kind of stuff in there. So this one is a little on the light lighter side in my taste, but a very nice lawnmower beer, if you will. So if you had this one, give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it and didn't like it. And John, thanks again for sending it. I enjoyed trying it since I have not had it before. And guys, hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's see if we can get a tastier beer tomorrow. Come on back, I'll see you then.